Hi everyone, this is Wynn Saldani from the Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac Committee. Uh, I wanted to post the first video of this year's race and it's going to be an overview of race tracking. Um, the way I like to get the race tracking is through the main webpage here, cycracetomackinac.com. You can see that up there. Uh, there's also a yellow brick app which you can download and we will, uh, the Mac Committee is picking up the cost of that, but uh, they work pretty much the same way. I click on race tracking and this is a uh, regular Wi-Fi speed here that you're about to see. Uh, with a decent connection, it should work about this quick for you. There it goes. I had to hit refresh there one time. Okay, so when it opens up, this is what you're going to see. A uh, general lap, um, map of Lake Michigan. And um, the cruising boat just started, so I'm going to focus on them. And the way that I'll do that is I clicked on this Teams. You saw it was hidden a second ago. I click on it. And then I only leave cruising checked. And then once I've got cruising checked, there's a button up here called Zoom to All Boats. I click on Zoom to All Boats and it immediately uh, and automatically adjusts the screen to be just the cruising fleet here. And once you do that, you can do some cool stuff. So you put the um, mouse over a boat and you can see the name of the boat, picture of the boat, the owners of a boat, so forth and so on. See the speed that they're doing right now. So they're doing 6.3 knots. Um, and the place that they are right now. That place, I would be very careful with the place here. So that says they're 5th in cruising, 2 and 12th in all cruising. This race uh, is a handicap race for lots of fleets, which means that the order that they finish in is not necessarily the order that they uh, are finally awarded. And um, uh, the calculations are rather complex and really not final to the end of the race. But you get a nice overview in the boat here. This little crown means this guy's in the virtual lead in tangible Tom Falk great boat um, but so that's the information that you can get by sort of mousing over the boats here and sort of figure out which one is which this right here is called the rum line it's the most direct course to the uh, up the, uh, to the island really up the uh, up the race course see boats are staying to one side of it we'll talk about the strategy for that in a separate video later on um, but it gives you an idea sort of in the bigger picture of the way they're going so let me zoom out a little bit here and you can see yeah boats are sort of if this is the direct course, you wish you could be sailing that way, but you're sailing this way instead, and uh, that's going to be uh, something we'll talk about later on. Back to the functionality of the tracker now. So the next thing you probably want to learn about is, let's say I just want to look at um, Cruising 1. I can just click on Cruising 1. There, I just have the Cruising 1 boats. Say I'm only interested in uh, three or four boats in Cruising 1. I just click on those three or four boats, and... Uh, they are now in my favorites, and I click on my favorites, and I click on Cruising 1. It's just that couple of boats, and as long as I don't clear my cookies and clear my cash, I'm going to have those boats to take a look at. And then the last thing to show you is that you can search, too. So I happen to sail on this boat a lot, tried and true, and, and you saw as I was typing in, it was limiting down the list. They haven't started yet today, but, you know, they're, actually, there's their tracker down there, right there. Um, and then once I see them, I can add them to my favorites, of course, or do, do whatever I want. Um, at that point uh, with them. So um, hopefully that's a good overview. Um, one last piece of functionality, I'm just going to put the cruising boats back up real quick, is this little bar right here in the lower right hand corner. It always is the current time. If you want, let me uh, hold on a second, I got to get rid of the search. If you'd like to sort of play the race, so this is all the cruising boats in the pre start. I backed it up a little bit here. If I press the play button, they'll start moving. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. They'll start moving, and they start, and boom, there they go. So you can sort of replay what's gone on over the last couple of hours using this bar down here. Drag it left to get earlier in the race, and adjust the speed with this little button down there. So that's a, a general overview of how to find and track the boats that you want. If you have any questions, uh, again, keep an eye on Facebook. Keep uh, an eye on Twitter. I'll be, I'll be watching there and trying to get back to any questions as quickly as I can. Thanks very much.